I've been drawing my whole life, so I always liked storytelling, and it was always a way to express anything going on in my life. I study philosophy, and I think it does connect in that the thing that I love about philosophy is still creative. Like when you have a thought or I'm writing an argument, I have to make similar situations and like thought experiments that are analogous, so I still get to like create something. I went to a Jewish school my whole life, so we learned about the Holocaust from like grade one. And we had survivors of the Holocaust come talk to us. And my senior year, I had to make a project. The process for making the stories of survivors started by me going to a database online that had a bunch of interviews with survivors. And I wanted to choose people who were going through Holocaust around my age at the time. And I tried to find things that were really small and relatable. When I was 18, I went to Poland to see the concentration camps with my high school. My great-great-grandma died in the Holocaust and that whole family. My mom uh, told me all the stories when I was a kid and she would give me more details as I grew up. Something that stood out to me in the stories that my mom told me when I was a kid about my family who was in the Holocaust, they were in the Black Forest hiding from the Nazis and they didn't have any food, but they would dig up these potatoes that they would find in the forest. They would try and cook them, but once it was dark, they had to like blow out any fire or else they would get caught. And the youngest one, she always had to eat these like frozen raw potatoes. That always stood out to me as something so upsetting and pathetic, just like she can't even have the simplicity of like a warm potato. I thought it was so powerful. How do you capture these things and actually feel them? And it's so difficult and sometimes just like a simple drawing says so much. So I wanted to see if I could do the same, but specifically towards my generation and people my age. I hope that when people read my book, they feel a lot um, and they feel like empathy towards not only Jews, like I think that this again can be extrapolated to so many things. I don't want it to be a forgotten part of history as like traumas often become. Just being able to, to externalize something that you're working through and then if it's effective as a piece, it's validated.